If you're watching this video, there's a huge chance you spend an awful amount of time watching your favorite NBA teams and players. In fact, you might consider yourself an NBA whiz because of your impressive NBA knowledge. But do you think you know these unknown 10 NBA stats? Let's find out. When Nike developed the Air Jordans with Michael Jordan, they had a dream to make it one of the most popular kicks in the NBA. But this dream was instantly cut short because the NBA said the shoes were against uniform regulation because of their red color. Nike might have lost the battle with the NBA, but they won on an entirely different turf. Kids and NBA geeks heard about the banned NBA shoes and they immediately wanted to get their hands on them. The end result? The shoes ended up becoming one of Nike's most successful series. Eventually, the NBA knew they were missing out the real deal and allowed the players to wear them. NBA players make an awful lot of money, and it's only natural that we believe that these guys are made for life. But that's really not true. An insane 60% of NBA players go broke just five years after leaving the NBA. So if you ever hit the NBA jackpot, don't forget to invest in some financial knowledge, just like you invest time in practicing hoops. Big Shamrock is without a doubt one of the greatest NBA players we've seen. But despite his super impressive career, he was able to hit the three-point basket just once in his career. Now, that's not a bad stat considering he played as a center, so we still gotta give him his flowers. Anyway, the shot happened in 1998 in an intense match against the Milwaukee Bucks. Before Twitter transformed into X, we were quite familiar with the bird logo. And tweets who did a little more research about the logo quickly learned that it was named Larry. Biz Stone is the co-founder of Twitter, and he spent his childhood watching Larry Bird dominate the NBA when the Twitter logo came out, so he named the logo after the man who defined his childhood NBA memories. But despite the honor, Larry Bird never had a Twitter account. With the bird pretty much gone now, it's even less likely to find Larry on the social media platform. Despite the diversity of the NBA, only one Irish player has ever played in its league. Pat Burke was born in Dublin, but moved to Cleveland when he was only three years old. He was with the Orlando Magic for just one year before playing two seasons for the Phoenix Suns. Irish players like Aidan Egohan and N.D. Okafor could be the next Irish big shots in the NBA, but we would have to wait and see. James A. Naismith is to basketball what Galileo Galileo is to physics. He's the famous guy who invented the beautiful game of basketball in 1891. But did that guy ever really exist? Yes, a James Naismith actually did invent basketball, but the A, right in the middle of his name, never really existed. When Naismith got a job at the University of Kansas in 1898, somebody kind of messed around with his name, and he ended up getting a middle name that he never had. But what does this fake name stand for anyway? Anthony? Arthur? Albert? In September 2000, Paul Pierce got stabbed 11 times and survived after he tried to stop a fight in a nightclub. But as crazy as that was, it wasn't the most fascinating part of the story. Someone broke a bottle on his head and one of the stab wounds hit him in the neck. And again, this somehow managed to be another less impressive part of this story. Just three days after the stabbing and an emergency lung surgery, Paul was back on his feet. And just after a few more days, he was back on the court shooting hoops that isn't the most badass thing I've seen all year, then I don't know what is. Muggsy Bogues remains the shortest player to ever play in the NBA, and with a height of just 5'3", you'd understand why millions of people thought he didn't have a chance at the sport. But Muggsy just wasn't determined to play in the NBA, he was also there to break records. Did you know that despite his small frame, Muggsy was a first round pick in the 87 draft? He didn't score a lot of points, but his defensive abilities and decent passing skills made him into some sort of cult hero. And with these stats and height, we understand why some fans wouldn't mind worshipping him. Not many fans know that the late NBA superstar was a rapper who dropped an album in 1999 with hip-hop stars like 50 Cent and Nas. Even though Kobe's music career never quite hit its peak, his love for music did one really important thing for him. It made him find his true jam in love. While he was on the set of a music video for the East Side as Kobe would meet his future wife, Vanessa Bryant. Well, I guess we could say his music finally paid off in the end, just not in the way he expected. Manute Bull, at 7'7", was one of the tallest players to ever play in the NBA. 
for starters, he played side by side with the shortest player, Muggsy Bogues. But the scariest thing about Bull wasn't his height. In fact, everyone who had the chance to get closer to him mentioned that he was just as soft as a dove. However, there's a certain story about Bull that still gives us the chills. Bull once fought off and killed a lion with nothing but a spear as a herdsman in Sudan. Okay, let's take a minute to really understand what that meant. He literally killed the king of the jungle with a spear. Nobody knows if Bull's story really happened, but nobody was also willing to find out while he was alive. And there you have it. Which of these hidden facts did you already know about? And which ones did you think we kind of missed out on? Tell us about it in the comment section. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get more videos just like this.